welcome to the fight game with Ice Water and Puma and Ice. There was a fight last week, Baval Sanchez. Uh, Sanchez got beat with a unanimous decision. And Baval is one of those guys that um, I, I look at uh, with him and, and Benavidez as one of the guys that I don't think Carnelo Alvarez wants to ever, ever, ever see. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you look at Baval, tough guy. He has a very uh, difficult style because he's a bigger guy, but he's able to jab, jab and box, and he's able to move, and that causes problems for guys like uh, his opponent and also guys for, like, Canelo because usually Canelo has been able to do his comeback uh, late and take down the bigger guys. But Baval's a crafty type uh, fella, and he can move around, and he can punch hard too. So he can give you something back. So he can back you up, make sure things are, are the way they're supposed to be. So Canelo's going to be looking forward to trying to you know, re recoup that loss, right? Kind of gain revenge on that. We'll see how that plays out. Gives him a long time to kind of wait. So we will not, we should not, we won't see a, a Canelo again this year. Maybe a wait again until, like we said, May and try to get a rematch. So hopefully he will be healed by then. And, you know, it falls right into Cinco de Mayo weekend. Uh, so if he doesn't get it, I implore somebody else to maybe we can get uh, they don't want it. Maybe we can get uh, Spence and uh, Crawford uh, on 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 single to mile weekend. I would love that. We'll see. Uh, speaking of that, uh, the WBC is is put the gauntlet down, and they're trying to get some mandatory fights, and they're putting some fights together. They're ordering a mandatory fight with um, Spence and uh, Keith Thurman. Mandatory fight with. Deontay Wilder and Ruiz, a mandatory fight with, um, I think, uh, Benavidez and Boval, I believe. And so I'm going to let you talk, take that over and uh, talk about that, man. Yeah, well, you know, WC, sometimes they get it right. And uh, what's ironic about this, when we, once we found out that Terrence Crawford has decided to move forward uh, in December, actually, what, another couple of weeks to fight uh, David Anavizian and uh, fight him uh, December 10th, then they're probably saying, well, hell, we, we know they're not going to fight this year, so we might as well go on and get uh, Errol Spence a fight. And uh, everybody talked about uh, Boots Ennis maybe getting a shot, but nah, even though he's a mandatory in certain ways. Uh, they want a fight that uh, Errol Spence can uh, not say he can easily win, but instead of him making a decision, WBC said, we're ordering this fight. <laughs> so they ordered the fight. So therefore, El Spence was like, if you ordered it, I'll fight him. So this uh, run around with Keith Thurman has been going on for years. Uh, when Keith Thurman was the champion, El Spence wanted to get a shot. And Thurman said he wasn't ready. He needed to become a champion first and all this and whatever. And then uh, Thurman loses to Pacquiao. And then Spence keeps going on. And then once Thurman comes back, he tells him, you know, I could have taken you down any time. So he's trying to get in his head because now he was no longer was on top. So therefore, uh, when Keith Thurman came back and won, he said he would take on any of the champions. He was looking at Errol Spence, but he also was talking about shooting really for Crawford. But uh, this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity for Keith Thurman. Uh, he said what he wanted to say, and we'll find out if he is back, if he really is back. I did make a mistake on... Um... Benavidez and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Baval is Benavidez and Plant. Yeah, yeah, that yeah they're yeah. trying to make. And then um, your son Stevenson versus Cruz. They're also trying to put the gauntlet down for the WBC. Man, let me write that down so I can talk. <laughs> let, me, let me write that down. Let me make sure. I'm <laughs> yeah, I mean, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's like, why aren't these boxing organizations making these fighters fight? And maybe they watched the show and said, hey, that is our job is to make these fighters fight. And mm -hmm. I said it earlier in, in one of our other shows, the uh, First 40 show, is that I think they're doing this because you look at the UFC, we're, we're going to talk about um, a little bit about the fight uh, 281 coming up um, this week. And we'll talk about it more next week. But it's every month there is an event, um, not to compare the UFC to boxing, but it's like, how do we get these guys to fight? How do we make this money? The people want to see these fights. And I'm sick of the clown show with the, the Logans, uh, Logan, uh, the Paul brothers. So 
they got to jump in and, and, and do something so they can get boxing back hot again. And what better way to do it towards the end of this year? Put these fights together, get people excited. So they'll, they'll be geared up and ready to pay that, those pay-per-view dollars when they come. Yeah, so let me throw one thing in there real quick. And, I, and I, I did a little research, but I also need to point this out. A lot of people were frustrated in saying why Spence and Crawford did not fight uh, by the end of this year. One of the things we're finding out, too, is Showtime boxing with Showtime uh, right now is kind of like on a limited budget because there's some negotiations or some things going on. Because I think the way that uh, their their business, Showtime's boxing business and Showtime is being, has been a loose cannon kind of doing their own thing, right? But it appears that uh, Paramount that owns Showtime is now kind of pulling the reins back on Showtime. So the big purses and all of the free flow of money that Steven Espinosa had before may be not uh, as available. So what we've heard before now is that the money, simply the budget was not there for them to really schedule these big fights. So that's what we talked about the guaranteed money that need to be put up and whatnot. If the, they don't have a budget for it, somebody else is going to come up with that money. So therefore the negotiations is perhaps where Paramount's trying to put a, not a stranglehold, but they're trying to kind of rein in Showtime boxing or Showtime in general uh, to kind of get them under the, the auspices of how they want things to run. And maybe things will open up a little bit uh, for next year. But I think that makes a lot of sense if that is the actual case of Paramount pulling the reins and tighter reins on uh, Showtime. But I don't think they're going to lose that money. So getting back on these uh, these fights real quick, uh, like we said, Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman will be a dynamite fight. Glad WBC is moving up. A uh, long time feud, if you will, is coming along. And wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great to see, uh, we get to see in December, hopefully, that we get to see Terrence Crawford in his own separate fight, right, versus, versus his, his opponent. And then Earl Spence Jr. fighting Keith Thurman. And hopefully we get that big fight in the spring. But uh, David, ben David Benavidez and Caleb Plant, so we said earlier, Caleb Plant uh, knocked out our buddy, Mr. Durrell. In, in the devastating fashion. And David ben, Benavidez has been asking for a major fight for a long time. He's a two-time champion, lost both his belts due to circumstances that were in his control and has been trying to get back on top ever since. In order to do so, he got to fight somebody. So I think finally, Caleb Plant, if you want to be respected and you want that rematch, if, if any chance of having a rematch with, uh, with uh, Canelo, you got to fight somebody. And he's definitely chosen to do that now, fighting David Benavidez. That's going to be one hell of a fight if it comes together. Uh, again, uh, there's so many different things coming up, too, that possibly uh, I looked at, too. You mentioned about possibly Stevenson and uh, Mr. Cruz go right there, too. That'd be a, a Isaac Cruz. That'd be a hell of a fight. But uh, they're pushing Cruz up there a lot because he gave uh, Devontae Davis – some trouble, uh, even though Devontae was kind of fighting with one arm. But uh, again, I told you before, do not underestimate my son. We just got to keep my son out the spotlight because they, they had some stuff they're trying to tag him along with that that Migo situation. Yeah. And we just got to keep him out of the, the spotlight so he can stay focused on what he needs to do. But uh, I think he would have the challenge against anybody. And Cruz would, under, would not understand that. The way that Stevenson fights, he would make you miss. And every time he missed, if he didn't knock him out, he would punish him. Punish me for a long way. But that's one hell of a fight that could come up possibly. Uh, two, and some other possible fights that will be coming up. Uh, Naomi uh, Inoue uh, versus Paul Butler for the um, Undisputed Bantamweight Championship. The Monster versus mm -hmm. Paul Butler is going to be one hell of a fight. The Bantamweight fight, you definitely will want to watch that. Just supposed to be coming up too. Uh, December 3rd, one of my favorite fighters of all time, uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Juan Francisco Estrada. So the fight, the belt is back on the line for December 3rd. Those two go at it. You got a younger guy in Estrada going against one of the old so-called fossils in boxing, but he never quits. So looking forward to Chocolatito get that on uh, too. Uh, as you mentioned about mandatories being called out as well. Uh, in January, Jamil Charlo versus Tim Tazoo. And uh, Tim Tazoo is a tough notch, top notch opponent coming after Charlo. 
in the junior middleweight uh, division. Uh, a lot of things going on there too. We mentioned earlier, possibly Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Seems like they signed out the contract to uh, another major fight. Uh, and you also mentioned that uh, the BC coming up again, Wilder versus Ruiz. Everybody wants to see that fight. Ruiz is a shot opportunity to show that he's the real deal, maybe get a shot at the big boys. But uh, for Wilder, it's another opportunity to show that um, maybe Fury just has my number. Mm -hmm. I'm still the guy I was, even though some people don't believe I am, I'm coming back strong. If he takes him down, I guess he's just going to keep going up the ladder, keep going up the ladder. I still eventually think what they're going to try to do is, I don't know how long it's going to last, but you might see, uh, unless you throw Joshua in there, that you might see Wilder and Fury for, man. You just might. Does, does Wilder want to see Wilder Fury for? That's going to be the thing right there. But, but the right cash, and if he wins enough of these fights, like Ruiz is a so-called major test. Yeah. And let's say the other thing, too, that the fight, as much as you want to say you don't want to see Joshua, not Joshua, but Wilder Fury for, the one fight that people do want to see and will pay for, even though it wouldn't be title contention, people want to see Wilder versus Joshua. Yeah, I, I want to see that. I want to see Joshua versus Fury. I they mean, want to see, the fight you want to see. They wanted to see Joshua and, and, uh, and Wilder for a long time. I think that will pay big time for that. So uh, what, I just, what we just mentioned to you is all these different fights coming up, possibilities. Uh, another top fight in February is going to be Josh Taylor and Jack Cotero with a rematch. Yeah. Um, so do you say a boxer is dead, man? I don't, we just ran off five, six. I mean, if you're a boxing fan. Yeah, you you got to be excited. Strap, strap in, bro, because – and I want to hear y'all talking about, well, they ain't nobody fighting nobody. Strap in. If Showtime and Paramount get their, their selves together, uh, WBC, WBA, WBC, WBA is going to probably follow suit. We got some dynamite fights coming out, and we didn't even talk about the factor as I get off this point for boxing of uh, Lomachenko, you know, fighting as well, you know, yeah, coming yeah. in and fighting Devin Haney, which would be another dy dynamic fight. So the fights are there. Hopefully they'll finalize everything. So I just want the same people that's been doubting it forever, come watch some real boxing. Yeah. Come watch real boxing. These are dynamite fights that are going to be coming on. It's going to be going so much so fast. And uh, don't be afraid to spend a little money on pay-per-view, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my thing is, and I'll touch it on this uh, before we go to UFC, is that I would much rather see Wilder and Joshua instead of another fourth fight with, with, with uh, Tyson Fury and, and Deontay Wilder. I want to see... Joshua um, and Tyson Fury. Don't don't give me four of the same fight. Don't give me four. There's no reason for it. There's no reason. I think Wilder got beat all three times. To be honest with you, so mm -hmm. why would he? Why would I want to see another beat down a fourth time where you know what's going to happen? He's going to come in the same way. He's going to get hit upside the head, and he's going. <laughs> they're going to stop the fight. That that you know the, the last two fights ended that way. They had to stop the fight. So why would I want to watch that for any money? Why, do, why would you want to do that for any amount of money and get beat down again? And then you got to go into hiding or seclusion to find yourself again. No, don't do that. Go after Joshua. Go after Joshua. And I will wait out until Tyson Fury just decides he doesn't want to do it anymore. And then, <laughs> yeah, because if the dude got your number, dude got your number. I ain't saying he's a punk or anything like that, but the dude got your number, dude got your number. If you can't beat him and, and, and you're not training to, to kind of really kind of improve to beat him, then wait it out, fight everybody else, and then when he leaves, you could be the guy. <laughs> wow. I don't think I ever heard you say something like that before. He can't beat him. He can't be. You could you could do hey, you want to go seven out of ten, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna win that. You wanna go four out of seven, you're not gonna win that, bro. So the guy got your number, just you know, just move on, go fight everybody else. Wait till he retires, then you can do the bomb squad and all the other stuff. But are there any surprises you're, are you expecting in 281? Um, I'm going to tell you something. The one thing that I, I really want to see this fight, 
And we're talking about Israel, you know, Edesanya versus Alex Pereira. The reason why I want to see this fight, I've never really seen Israel in a very true vulnerable position, okay? And it's clear that Pereira is the only person to beat him. He beat him twice when they were kickboxers. So I've never seen that. You know, I, I tried to go back and watch the first fight when he got beat down um, the first couple of times. It's hard to find that fight or those two fights. And I just want to see Israel in a position where a guy that already knows him and beat him twice, what happens now? Has How far has he evolved? Because in the back of your head, it's kind of like what, uh, uh, what had to happen before for when uh, 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 Carissa Shields fought her fight. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking in the back of your mind, this is the person that last beat me. And she literally had to have a, a massive performance to win that fight because the, right. the young lady was coming forward and she did an outstanding job. Same thing has been going through Israel because there are a lot of things people going like saying, hey, this guy beat you twice. He beat you once, he beat you twice. Right. So the question is, have you improved that much? Or is this guy knows what, does it, again, does he have your number? Like you mentioned about Wilder and Fury. If he has your number, and uh, we know lately in the UFC, anybody can be can be had. Anybody can be got. Any given night, they can be beat. Yeah. He's Ice Water. I'm Puma, and this is Fight Game. <laughs>